In these problems, we're doing some more work with factoring a difference of squares. And to determine that you have a difference of squares, you're going to look for a minus sign in the middle and then two chunks that you can easily take the square root of. 49, well, the square root of that is 7. And 25x squared, that's a little bit more complicated, but we can take the square root of both these parts and put them together. The square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of x squared is x. So 5x is the square root of 25x squared. Once you've got those two chunks, those are your a and b, and the factored form looks like this. So I can just put the 7 and the 5x together as 7 plus 5x times 7 minus 5x. And that is the factored form of this difference of squares. Let's do one more for practice here. Uh, this first chunk, 64w squared, yeah, I can take the square root of that. The square root of 64 is 8. The square root of w squared is w. And then the second chunk is 9. The square root of that is just 3. So I've got my two pieces. I put them together in the form of the first one plus the second one times the first one minus the second one. If you want to verify that these are the correct factorizations, you can just foil these together. You should come up with what you started with. So that's a little bit more work with factoring a difference of squares.